Hi folks, this is Dr. Dave and this is a quick overview of the area player that comes with Garatan Personal Orchestra 5. When you first start it up, the area player looks through your computer and finds all of the sound libraries that it's able to play. Now, if you look over here, there are 16 slots, each of which stands for a MIDI channel, and you can load an instrument into each of those so you can play up to 16 instruments at once. You can load those in two ways. Uh, the quick way is to use this ensemble switch here. If you click on that little minus sign, choose Personal Orchestra 5. You have a choice between Multi and Omni. Omni is a type of ensemble that will re respond to all 16 MIDI channels, and then it'll dole out the notes to the appropriate instruments. So in a brass section, low notes will go to tubas, higher notes go to trumpets. In a choir, low notes will go to men's voices higher notes to women's voices or children's, depending on the type of choir you choose. In multi, you get different instruments, but each has its own MIDI channel. So I'll choose a string quartet here, and you'll see it loads two different violins in, a viola and a cello, but they're all on different MIDI channels, one to four. Notice that it also changed from the info page to the mixer page. One thing it did keep in common is this keyboard at the bottom. So we can play any of these notes, any of these instruments, by using the keyboard on the screen, just with the mouse, or we can use an attached MIDI keyboard. Either way, you can play through the instrument and see what it sounds like. The lit keys are its range. The ones that are grayed out are notes that it can't play. And the red keys are the key switches that give to the different articulations of the instrument. And uh, the one that's yellow is the one that's currently being used. And you can see the name of the key switch you've chosen over here. So this is sustained vibrato. Now we're obviously on violin one. If we want to change to a different instrument, we just click beneath the MIDI channel and you see that white lozenge show up there. That says we're on channel four, which is the cello. And notice that the key switch on C is sustained vibrato. There is no key switch for C sharp. D is tremolo. Now I said there were different ways to load instruments and sometimes you'll get a different instrument with different key switches and a different range. So watch the number of notes here. I'm going to choose another cello. I'll go to Personal Orchestra 5. Now my choice is between notation, which is typically used by a notation program like Finale, uh, finale Sibelius, Muse Score, uh, because they translate certain MIDI commands slightly differently from a MIDI keyboard or other MIDI input device. So we'll use standard because I'm using a keyboard here. I'll go down to solo strings and choose cello. And I'll choose, <laughs> if I could find it, I'll choose cello, solo, cello one, solo, KS for key switched. And notice that we got more notes. We go all the way up to that high C. Now our key switch has changed too. The low C is now sustained but not as much vibrato. There is a C-sharp key switch here, and it's sustained with mute on. D is auto-alternate, which alternates up and down bows, so you can see that the key switches are different. It's certainly worth going into the various instruments and then looking at the different versions of any of them to see, for example, what the different violins have for key switches or the different cellos, the different violas. It's, uh, it's a good way to see what they're capable of because not all of the instruments have every single type of uh, articulation that that instrument's capable of in the Personal Orchestra 5. Now, notice that when we loaded some instruments in, we went to the mixer channel or the mixer page and we have here a standard sort of mixer that for each channel has a volume control, a mute if you want to mute that channel, or solo if you want to hear just it, a pan control that adjusts the amount of sound that goes to the left or right speaker 
So the more I move it to the left, the more the sound comes to out of the left and the less it comes out of the right. I just suggest you don't go all the way left or right because then you'll only be sending that sound out one speaker and it sounds a little bit unnatural. So if you just seat them sort of the way that a quartet would sit, your pan controls can set that up and they'll sit in the speakers a little bit more naturally. The send controls are uh, a way to control how much of an effect and how much of the dry sound is sent out. We'll talk about that in another video where I talk about controls and effects. The final thing I want to say about the keyboard is that if you use an instrument that uses pedals, you can use one, two, or all three of the pedals down here to get the full set of articulations that instrument can do. So I'll see you again in the next video where we'll talk about controls and effects. And until then, have some fun loading in some instruments and playing through the Personal Orchestra 5 to see what those instruments can do.